Lesson 3. Forward annotate, create a PCB file, and draw your board shape. If not already opened, launch Pads Designer and go to File Open Project. Navigate to C Pads Professional Quick Start Lesson 3 Forward Annotation and select the file named LED Flasher .prj and finally click Open. Within Pads Designer, go to Tools Pads Professional Layout. Set the Template drop down menu to Four Layer Quick Start Underscore Template, then click OK. Please note that the following steps only need to be performed once. Pads Professional Layout Interface will automatically open and load your base PCB file. Click Yes to create the design directory when prompted. Click OK to import the layout interface. Click OK to dismiss the message about back annotation being disabled. Then check the box to not show the prompt to forward annotate again and finally click Yes. Pads Professional Layout Interface should have automatically opened, loaded an empty PCB and displayed the project integration. Within the project integration window, click the first ember button to forward annotate. You may see a series of notifications about tasks being processed. They'll automatically get dismissed when done executing. Click OK to dismiss the warning message. The ember lights should now be green, indicating that your schematic and PCB data have been synchronized. Click the close button to dismiss the project integration windows. You now have two windows opened, the PADS designer interface displaying your schematics and the PADS professional layout interface displaying the contents of your PCB. At this stage, components have been imported into your PCB workspace and are ready to be placed on the board. Close the PADS designer interface but leave the PADS Professional Layout Interface opened. Although possible to manually draw a complex 2D board shape within PADS Professional Layout, in some cases it can be quicker to define a 2D board shape based on a facet of a 3D model. Within the PADS Professional Layout Interface, click the bookmark icon to hide the left panel group and expand the visible workspace area. Switch to 3D view by going to Window, Add 3D View. Within the 3D view, import the step model by clicking 3D, Import Mechanical Model. Then navigate to C, Path Professional Quick Start, Resources, Step Models. Select the file named BoardOutline.step and click Import. Go to 3D, Create Board, and then left click once on the imported step model. Position your cursor on the bottom left corner of the 3D body. Left click once when the pink outer circle appears. This will define the board origin. Within the map hole features window, check the box next to route border, then set new clearance to 20 and click OK. Right click the step body and then click delete. Click yes to dismiss the prompt and then notice your new board outline. Click once on the view tab named one LED underscore flasher to view the board outline in 2D view. Press the control B key combination to fit your board outline to the PCB layout space. Go to file, save, then close the PADS professional layout interface. Proceed to the next exercise.